We're in the studio, a uh, little bit more of an opportunity to uh, create more mess in the studio than in the office and uh, one of the things that I'm doing at the moment is installing some point motors. Uh, now these are a combination of the Cobalt Classic um, and the uh, Cobalt uh, Analog IP point motors from uh, DCC Concepts. Uh, I'm going to run them off DC control and uh, we're going to use a, a sniffer to adapt them to DCC. Um, and uh, yeah, everything's included in the kit. So uh, you've got your mounting screws, you've got your, uh, your, your little point rod actuator lever there. This is basically it's fitted to the uh, the point motor. So you can see there you've got a little screw which holds it in, uh, in position at the bottom. And then you can uh, change this fulcrum point up or down to uh, well increase or decrease the leverage on the point. You don't want too much because otherwise you can put excess strain on the point uh, on the little uh, fragile blade components but you want enough to make sure that it uh, flicks all the way across. And uh, I've got two installed here on the layout and uh, as standard with a uh, a pico point you've got your little over center spring which needs to be removed uh, that just stops it from flicking across too quickly one way or the other so that you've got that continuous uh, motion all the way at the same speed from one side to the other. So underneath the layout, this is a layout, uh, the baseboards are a combination of polystyrene and um, some MDF and to get these point motors mounted underneath requires a lot of fettling. So to get through all of this polystyrene it's just a case of drilling it and uh, as you'd expect it makes a lot of mess. Uh, same there with these mounts really, you've got to go through these, I'll tidy all of this later up, uh, make sure that it's all a little bit more presentable but let's be honest the underside of the baseboard isn't going to be seen and uh, it's not a project that I'm overly worried about making a little bit of mess and uh, it looking a little bit, uh, well, not too neat and tidy on the underside because nobody's going to see it and uh, it saves a lot of time in the construction. 